Greetings and welcome to another edition of the Forex Technical Market Update. Okay, in today's update, we're going to speak about currency strength. And uh, there are times when traders are confused as to which uh, currency pair to trade. Because as you know, uh, when we're trading against the US dollar, we have a choice between the British pound, Australian dollar, the Swiss franc, the euro, the Canadian dollar, Japanese yen. And uh, if you are going to take a a position in the market, it's it's normally good to see which which currency pair is performing the best amongst amongst them. Okay, so the two uh, performing currency pairs right now are the British pound. As you can see, this is a chart of the British pound versus the U.S. dollar. And since April, the pound seemed to have bottomed against the dollar and has been uh, up ever since. Now, taking a look at the technical view, we see that the we had this is a weekly chart of the pound. We had support in the 148 region, and the market the market came down. These were the 140. This is the 148 region that was challenged in 2013. And mid-2013, the market went up, came down, challenged it, came down, closed below it, but quickly closed back above, which is what we call a fake out. So the market uh, f the market challenged this level and then has been bouncing. Uh, so that's what's happening on the weekly chart of uh, the British pound. And if you take a closer look, when we go to the daily chart, we see that the market is setting up for a head and shoulders type bottom. Now this this chart pattern would would be confirmed with a break above the neckline uh in this this is the imaginary neckline here. Yes it's a slanted head and shoulders bottom. Will this be in the left shoulder is the head and this is the right shoulder here. And it's it's slanted and a break above this one fifty eight region uh, will confirm this 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 chart pattern. Remember, uh, chart patterns are not confirmed until are not until they are actually until we actually break the support or resistance levels. Because what could happen is that this could fail and this could continue going down. Then this wouldn't be a head and shoulders uh, pattern. Okay, so this is the British pound versus the U.S. dollar, and as we can see. The British pound versus the Australian dollar is up. The market is up. Uh, the British pound versus the Japanese yen. Uh, this market is in an uptrend also. Uh, the British pound versus the euro. The euro British pound trades uh, uh, inverse. So when this market is going down, that means the pound is strengthening because it's quoted euro versus British pound. So it's strengthening against the euro. Uh, taking a look against the, the New Zealand dollar, we spoke about this market earlier in the week and the possibility of a head and shoulders bottom on the monthly chart. And as you can see here, and this is an example of a confirmed pattern. This is the left sh shoulder, right shoulder. This is the head. The neckline is here, and as you can see, the market has broken out of this uh, neckline uh, and confirming this move. And I said that this is a market that could really uh, gallop in the in the coming in the coming months. And as you can see, the market is really moving to the upside. The British pound versus the New Zealand dollar. Uh, so the British pound is is up against uh, most of the currency pairs, or if not all of the major currency pairs, and is showing some strength. So when you are trading and setting up your trading patterns and looking for pairs to trade, currently the British pound is trending very well, and it would be a good idea to look for opportunities uh, with the British pound. And that's why our portfolio is... Uh, we currently are long British pound US dollar and we are also long or we have been long this British pound Japanese yen and riding a couple hundred pips to the upside with this uh, trade. I'm looking in the in the future now 
I'm looking at this euro versus the Canadian dollar. I see that the market the market pulled back and could be looking to to head back to the downside. As you can see, the larger trend here has been down ever since ever since March 2014. This market topped out with a head and shoulders top. You can see the left shoulder, right shoulder, head here, neckline. Market broke broke the, the neckline to the downside and has been you have been seeing a series of lower highs and lower lows ever since. And the question is and if you can say say this is A but this chart is getting very very uh very confusing. So if you could say this is A uh, B C D E F could this be G here for another move to the downside in the euro versus Canadian dollar? And that's what we are it, this hasn't been confirmed yet, but this is what we are looking uh, looking for. So this market seems to be it could be a good opportunity if it continues uh, moving to the downside. Another market of note, uh, let me take a look at is uh, Japanese yen. We had a huge move down uh, versus the US dollar in the last uh, yesterday, but the market has recovered and is bouncing nicely. Uh, support is down by the 122.46 low and the resistance is up at the 126 level with this with this currency pair uh, looking at at gold we're still in our consolidation pattern because we haven't uh, decisively broken out of this of this consolidation and i will say this is the consolidation here uh, the market has not really been doing anything over the last couple of months. And I suspect when gold starts to move, uh, it's really going to, to move uh, aggressively. And if this is, in fact, a bottom in gold, uh, these levels, obviously, near the 1150, have to hold. And I would love to see a move above this 1300 level. You could see this is like a W bottom. If it breaks above this 1300 level, this will be a double bot W type bottom and could be a good opportunity for a, a longer term play in gold. Okay, thank you very much for listening. If you would like to have the signals, these trading signals sent to you, I urge you to click on the link below for more information on how to get uh, signed up. And it normally takes very quickly for you to sign up and get things up and running. So don't let the market miss. Uh, don't miss out on the market opportunities because the markets are showing us some uh, some wonderful opportunities for some multi hundred pip moves in in the forex market. Okay, so this is beyond. Thank you for listening and have a good day.